हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास ऑफ क्लास फोर्थ आई होप यू ऑल विल बी फाइन स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर योर समर वेकेशंस वी हैड ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड लेसन नंबर वन टू लेसन नंबर फोर एंड ऑल्सो इन माई लास्ट वीडियो मीन्स बिफोर योर समर वेकेशन इन दैट वीडियो आई हैड ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू लेसन नंबर फाइव द नाउन ओके सो यू कैन गो थ्रू डेट एक्सरसाइज इन ऑर्डर टू रिवाइज दिस लेसन द नाउन Now today in this video we will start with exercise A. Okay, so let's begin. Exercise A that is given on page number twenty-five. Recognize the nouns given in color in the following sentences and write whether they are common, proper, collective, abstract, or material. Okay, so you have to uh, uh, you have to write here whether these nouns that are written here in color are. common noun proper noun collective noun abstract noun or material noun okay so first one is their team is better than ours so here the noun team is a collective noun so you have to write here collective then second he is a magician so magician is a common noun so write here common her courage saved us from the tigress so the noun here is courage and it is an abstract noun so write here abstract then fourth one is coal is a cheapest fossil fuel so coal is a material noun now fifth one a committee of 8 was appointed so committee is a collective noun so write here collective sixth one he is a slave to ambition ambition is an abstract noun so write here abstract you have to write down correct spellings okay and also write neatly now next one is i do not understand physics answer abstract noun the stepmother loved cinderella answer proper noun their dog started barking at me answer common noun i am reading an interesting book okay so here book is common noun okay so this is your exercise a now let's move to our next exercise exercise b given on page number 26 word game complete the following crossword for finding out the hidden word in the blue block you can uh, can you tell the name of the profession which is associated with it so, okay you have to fill uh, complete this crossword for finding out the hidden word in the blue block as you can see here in this blue block is given here you have to find out the word that is hidden in this uh, blue block okay so for this you have to uh, first complete all these and then you will be able to find out this word can you tell the name of the profession which is associated with it and also you have to tell uh, the profession that is associated with this word so first one is first clue given here is a person who makes wooden objects so a person who makes a wooden object is known as a carpenter so fill here carpenter okay then second a person who reports news for a newspaper answer reporter third a person who sells food and small household goods is known as grocer fourth one a person who teaches in a school is a teacher so write here teacher then a person who owns or manages a hotel is known as hotelier okay hotelier then a person who treats patient answer doctor seventh a manager or owner of a plantation planter a person qualified to prescribe glasses and contact lenses answer optician a person who interprets foreign speech orally interpreter okay you have to write down the correct spellings okay i n t e r p r e t e r you can see the spellings from here a person who builds houses and other buildings is known as a builder a person who watches a match closely to enforce the rule the rules 
is known as an empire and a person who practices law as a lawyer okay now the word that is uh, in this blue uh, box is block is architecture okay so who is an architecture a person uh, whose profession is for the construction of building means who builds building who construct buildings okay so now this exercise is also completed now let's move to our next exercise that is on page number 27 on page number 27 fill in the right collective noun from from the uh, from the list list is given here you have to fill in the collective noun first one is a dash of sheep a dash of sheep is known as flock so fill here flock f l o c k a dash of loins a dash of loins means a pride of loins so fill here pride then a herd of elephants right here herd a dash of fish is known as shoal okay so right here shoal s h o a l a dash of bees swarm s w a r m a dash of horses a troop of horses a dash of ships fleet a uh, a or n dash of soldiers army a dash of flowers bouquet a dash of bananas a bunch of bananas a dash of mountains range so fill here range a dash of players team okay so right here team now you can complete this exercise and now let's move to our next exercise exercise uh, uh, d given on page number 28 circle the abstract nouns below okay so you have to circle the abstract nouns in these in this box okay so you have to circle the abstract noun here so all of you know what are abstract nouns means the words that cannot uh, these are the feelings that cannot be seen or that cannot be touched okay so you have to circle those these uh, abstract nouns in this box so first abstract noun is friendship so circle this one then happiness agreement okay then here mercy is also an abstract noun fish is not an abstract noun and face is also not an abstract noun okay then grief is an abstract noun house is not an abstract noun thought you have to circle it because this is also an abstract noun then ribbon and picture these both are not abstract noun then youth is an abstract noun so circle this hat is not a uh, is not an abstract noun rules is an abstract noun and also anger is an abstract noun so you have to circle both these okay so this is your exercise uh, d now use these abstract nouns in a sentence okay here two abstract nouns are given to you bravery and laughter you have to use these abstract nouns in a sentence so um, first sentence for uh, this word bravery is his bravery saved the whole community okay so you can write this sentence and also you can write of your own also you can write yourself you can write any other sentence of your own or you can write this one then second one is laughter my laughter challenge uh, made everyone laugh okay so you can write this and also you can uh, make any other sentence of your choice now write four of your own abstract nouns here you can write here any four abstract nouns i have written here courage smile arrival and health you can write any other abstract nouns okay so these are your exercises of lesson number 5 we had already completed these exercises now uh, you have to complete this ex these exercises in your book in neat and clean handwriting and uh, also you have to learn all these exercises in homework okay so this is all for today next uh, lesson we will start in our next video thank you